Hey, good morning guys. Look at this, still working on the boat. Last day, because I'll be sailing out tomorrow. And look what I just got in from Wind Kinetic. The new solar panels. Yeah, look at this. These are solar panels. They're made of just really durable plastic. You can mount them on the boat and walk on them. And these babies deliver 100 watt. Just look at that. How cool is this? Flexible solar panels, unbreakable. Wind Kinetic, awesome. I will install them. See you guys later. I'll be sailing today with my body legs. The sun might be shining right now, but it's gonna rain later on. So I got some big sail and the sail will come over, uh, how do you call it? The back of the boat. So at least we're dry when we're steering. So you've got like the uh, pipes. I'm gonna yeah, just chuck it over it, tighten it with tie wraps. And uh, yeah, we should be good to, for the rain tonight. Later. Having a drink, talking about Murphy's Law, because whatever can go wrong will go wrong if you're trying to chill. We had a couple of hours of four and a half, five knots, taking it easy, chill, but then we took the computer out and everything went wrong. First, the screw broke of the automatic rudder, so we made an unfortunate jibe. Then we got everything back together and then it got off the screw. So for the last hour and a half, things have just been going wrong. But finally, we took away the computer. Now, we're chilling, having a drink, and hopefully the rest of the trip is gonna be easy peasy. But uh, in sailing, Never. Nothing is easy. So, uh, guys, have a good night. Yep, didn't have time to connect it properly because we have properly. Oh, <laughs> why? Oh, Lex is actually a very good instructor in being able to explain how English works. So we're gonna. Say it again, I haven't had time to install it properly. So uh, this is how our automatic rudder works at the moment. But uh, hey, guess what? It is working. So uh, I can drink, Bob is doing this. Bob is doing the trip. Solar panels little net to stop and we built a little roof so we're chilling mighty night boys hey good morning guys first sunrise at the seahorse 2.0 and it's beautiful there's not a lot of wind look we're only doing like two knots but it's a beautiful morning look at the sunrise in the back awesome I just put a new octopus on my fishing rod so we might be lucky catch some fish but anyway it's an awesome start of the day talk to you later guys we lost the first line again look at that the fish started turning so uh, yeah, all the wire is like that. And yes, I did have a paternoster in between to make it able to turn, but yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah, so, yeah, so we lost the fish and a bit of line. So uh, yeah, let's put on a new fish and uh, we might just catch up. Oh God, we are flying. Oh man, this is sailing. Just look at that speed. 10 knots of wind, doing six knots of speed.
Tip tuna. <laughs> Very nice one. <laughs> Lexi. <laughs> oh. Look at these beautiful tuna steaks. <gasps> We're gonna get some nice frying going on. Soya. Ooh. I'm a happy guy. Yes, finished project. Oh, look at that tuna steak. This is just the best food in the world. It's just, it cannot get any better than this, guys. What are you doing, Biggie Smalls? Biggie Smalls likes it as well. Bon appetit, guys. Can you confirm me uh, your position, please? We are 34 degrees 11 north and 7 degrees over. Okay, sir, thank you. Goodbye, good night. Good night, over. Okay, that was just the French Coast Guard calling, checking our names, who we are. They might come with a vessel. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Later. Hey, good evening guys, this is just so beautiful, I'm watching a Disney movie about sailing, looking at the stars, you cannot see the stars right now, but this is just the most beautiful thing in the world, I'm getting so emotional, I don't even know why, this is just beautiful, here out, on the ocean, watching a movie, I'm not sailing now, well the sail is out, but I'm on the motor because there's just no wind, but uh, life can't get any better guys, this is just overwhelming, I love it, fuck, seeing shooting stars, incredible, have a wonderful night guys. <laughs> this
Disney movies, they're just the best. <laughs> Life is beautiful. Take every chance you get to be happy. We can do two things. We can play it safe, go to Marseille and be in there before the storm hits or go along the coast. Or we can cross straight to Barcelona and uh, yeah, try to make it in Barcelona before the storm hits. That's around 150 nautical miles. To get to Barcelona, we have 36 hours, so that's around about five knots uh, steady to make it before the storm. But actually, if we're in Gigona, about 35 uh, nautical miles higher, uh, we're already safe for the storm because it's an offshore storm. It's going to hit us with around about 20, 30 knots. So we just made the call. We're going to cross it. We're not going to play for safe. We just want to make it to Barcelona in time. So uh, a little bit. Of praying. <laughs> he made the call, he's there with us. Oh, I made the call. Yeah, you no, made the no, call. No, no. <laughs> no ladies and yeah. gentlemen, I made the call. No, we're gonna make it. Look at that. We have five knots and we were just doing six knots, so if we have to believe windy, we should be okay. So Let's make sure we're doing at least four knots an hour and uh, we're in Barcelona. So we're going to make it to Barcelona. Saturday night, we're going to have a, definitely going to have a big party in Barcelona if we make this. And if we're not going to make it before the storm, then at least we know if the Seahorse 2.0 can handle 25, 30 knot winds. I feel good about it. Lex, we're going to do this. Absolutely flying, unbelievable. I just put my first reef in because uh, we were doing over 8 knots an hour. I was doing 8.9, so we're going to run about 15 20 knots of wind. I put a reef in and I'm still doing 7.5 knots, so uh, the wind is supposed to pick up a little bit. So uh, I have to reef in a little bit more, but check this out. Look at that guys, we are absolutely flying, doing over seven knots, we can hear the boat singing, I don't know if you hear it on camera, but over six knots, it's just singing, it's just gonna whistle, oh, incredible, look at that, 7.5, 7.8, oh, wait for another gust, there we go, look at that, uh, that's insane! How do we feel, Lex? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, God. 
start the motor and the motor is not working. It went too well, so uh, I checked out the batteries and one battery was dead and one was full. And the battery that was dead was the starter accu, the starter battery and the household battery was still full. So uh, yeah, I uh, look at that. I there we go. So I made a shortcut between the battery, the two batteries, with my screwdriver. So there was enough power to start the engine, and the engine is running again. So uh, I need to change the wires because there's a really nice system in here. Look that is charging the household battery and the starter but uh, it's supposed to make sure that the starter battery is not going empty but the two wires are switched around so uh, I need to switch wires around and we should be having a completely off-grid good system nice one can you believe this nope. <laughs> we're in the harbor <sighs> 60 no not 60 96 hours at sea three nights with it over nine knots with the boat everything went well couldn't have done this without legs we thought we were here and then the motor wouldn't start like it's always something with us so well the battery was empty we fixed it Lex did an awesome job. We're broken, we're tired. 96 hours at sea in a new boat in rough circumstances. It's killing, but hey, we're stoked. We're now in Montpellier. There's two, three nights of storm coming up. So I'm gonna make some nice footage of Kite Surf Lex. And uh, yeah, Kite Surf Lex. <laughs> what a good <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna enjoy the city, have a beer, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, head for Barcelona somewhere soon. Cheers, guys. We're gonna chill, sleep. Mm -hmm.